Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today, I'm going to show you how to lower the CPU temperature of Acer Predator Helios gaming laptop. As you know, latest Intel chips being used in these gaming laptops are showing higher temp than normal. And I'm gonna show you and explain what might contribute to this. First, I'm going to show you the installed chip in my machine. So it's an Intel Core i7 9th Gen 9750H. So let's see what's the spec of this on the web. So one important thing to point here is it has Intel Turbo Boost technology. What is an Intel Turbo Boost technology? It's uh, it's dynamically increases the processor's frequency as needed, take advantage of thermal and power headroom to give a burst of speed when you need it. So next is it has a base processor frequency of 2.6 gigahertz and the max turbo frequency is 4.5 gigahertz. So this this frequency can only be achieved if your chip has Intel Turbo Boost technology enabled. As you can see the moment my CPU clock speed is at 4 GHz so meaning the Intel Turbo Boost technology is enabled at the moment the processes that contributes to that are the OBS Studio the one I'm using here to record the video and also the Predator Sense it is an application installed by default in Acer Predator laptops to monitor the temperature so at the moment, my temperature is 73 degrees Celsius. It's pretty high. Next is let's try to encode a video. And let's see what's the maximum temperature that we could get. So I'm going to save this video as um, a 1080p video with 60 FPS and 60 kilobit quality. Okay, then let's monitor the temperature and the clock speed. The movie maker is using 43% of the CPU and with the help of the internal GPU. So at the moment, it's just using 3.4 GHz of CPU clock speed. And, uh, and if we monitor the temperature, it's at 85 at the moment. Let's see what's the maximum temperature we could get. Moment, the temperature is 90 degrees. And I believe it will throttle at 92 degrees. But um, yeah, as you can see, it's really, really high. I stop the video encoding. And let's see what's the temperature now. So at the moment, it, it, it's at 76 degrees Celsius. So what we notice here is the CPU temperature is getting hotter because of the Intel Turbo Boost technology. So what we, what, what we want here is to disable that. But at the moment, there's no default setting embedded inside this laptop to do that. Even in the bio setting, we cannot disable the inter, Intel Turbo Boost technology. So what we can do next is to download an application called Throttle Stop. This one it's a free application this can do lots of things like uh, undervolt the CPU and also do some more tweaking of the CPU but be warned that if you don't know what you're doing you might end up breaking your CPU so be careful when using this so but what I only want here is to 
to disable the turbo boost so by default if i open this this is already tick so the turbo boost will be disabled and then if you will notice the speed now will not exceed the base frequency of the cpu okay and by doing that we will also expect that the cpu temperature will become lower even if we do another video encoding let's see So you can see in the process, 60%, 31% of it um, is using by Movie Maker with the help of uh, GPU. And um, the clock speed never exceeds 2.6 GHz now. And if we check the temperature, let's see what's the max it could get. Okay, there you go. So from 90 degrees Celsius to 70, that's really a lot of improvement. Next, I'm going to explain how to disable the throttle stop. What you just need to do is to just force close it here and then do a restart the system. Once it's back up, Intel Turbo Boost technology will be enabled there you go guys i hope you find this video informative and useful and see you on the next one